Hey y'all! Our house was just framed and we're so excited to give you an empty house tour. Come on in. This is our entryway. We're going to be swapping out this door so this Builder Basic won't be here, but we're thinking of maybe putting a statement art piece here and then Johnny will do the living room, which we are super, super excited about. So we got sold on this house because of the vaulted ceiling and I always wanted a great room, but we need a one-story house. So we have a large living room where we'll get to host lots of people and just sit comfortably during football season. Yeah. Uh, as big a window as possible. <laughs> And we have a fireplace that guides your eye all the way up toward the ceiling. So that's why it makes me feel so spacious. And I do want to note these two windows are wrong. So they're the right size, but they won't have these grids, which are called mullions. So those will be gone. They're going to be taken out. But we're really excited about this house shape. I think that's what sold us when we first saw this house. But next. The living room flows into the dining room right here. And we just love all of the natural light in this house. It's a really cloudy day, but you can see it's still bright in here. So we're really, really excited about that. And then a big place where we dropped all of our money is this kitchen. <laughs> so we have huge island. We're putting in a farmhouse sink. We got white cabinets. We're doing open shelving. And then over here, we actually are Just building imagine. a custom appliance garage here. So we have a lot of different small appliances like a rice cooker, air fryer, toaster, water heater, Mixer. Vitamix. So those things aren't necessarily pretty and they're quite large. So we wanted to be able to build a space where we can use them daily, but it's hidden so that it'll have doors that you can you know, slide, pocket doors type situation so you can cover it so it still looks clean and pretty but still functional um so over here we have this back part we'll have open shelves here with cabinets all the way up and then our vent hood that we sprung some money on no, all the real money is right here all the money is right here so it doesn't look like much but uh this will be a waterfall island and that was actually johnny's fault if he fault. never mentioned the waterfall island i never would have Remember so that it existed. Me, this thing is going to be awesome. <laughs> awesome. And then we have our outdoor covered patio, which we're lucky to have during rainy days, rain or shine. And funny enough, our house faces, at least this side is the east. Mm -hmm. And so during Texas hot summers, the sun will be on that side. And so it will never get too hot on the side where our backyard is. So we can host anytime. Right, come on this way. So we've got a mud room coming in right here, and then our laundry room back in here. So this was actually pretty spacious, and there aren't any windows in here, so I didn't want to get too fancy, but we did pay to get plumbing in there. So if we ever want to get really handy and put a sink in, we can definitely do that. <laughs> really good for hand washing clothes. Most likely going to do a gallery wall here, and then Johnny can talk about the bedroom, which we're really excited about. I guess I am. <laughs> so we're lucky to have a pretty sizable master where we get to center our king bed and have two perfectly symmetric nightstands. I don't know why that matters to me. And I think we have enough space to either put a TV, put no in TV. a reading nook. No TV. I like the TV. <laughs> we're not getting a TV. A reading nook or something in front of the bed. Now let's go to the master bedroom. Bathroom. Master bathroom. So, really big focal point is probably going to be the shower. So, we have herringbone subway tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And what was really cool about our builder was a shower seat was actually standard, which we think is amazing. And our shower is actually pretty large. So, we're really pumped about that. This over here will be my vanity because it's a little bit bigger. We'll have floor to ceiling cabinets here. And then we're stoked about this freestanding tub that's gonna go in this corner. It's gonna be amazing. Johnny's vanity will go there. What would bathroom be without a toilet room, water closet? And then this is our closet. I am so excited to have a closet big enough where I don't need a dresser in the bedroom. So we are stoked about that. 
That's our garage. Nothing too fancy there. And then we're going to take you to the other side of the house where the secondary bedrooms are. But we just love how high the ceilings are in this house for a one story. It really sold it for us. All the doors are eight feet, and so it gives everything that height you need. So this is one of our bedrooms. Could be a guest bedroom, uh, but it'll be our office <laughs> because we need some light. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it'll be a good time to put a TV here, a day bed, yes. desks. I don't even know what to do with that closet, honestly. Yeah. More closet it'll space. Probably is be good. like a good filing cabinet situation, storage closet for all of our gear and documents, etc. Then. This is our secondary bathroom. So this is the bathroom the guests will use and then our future kiddos will use. So we got two sinks. And then this is the third bedroom. So this will actually be the guest bedroom. And right now we've got good light because there isn't a house next to us, but that will probably change. But this will be a great place for our guests to come and unwind. And this closet is actually kind of obnoxiously large for the size of this bedroom, but we're just really excited about it. And it's wild to think that everything is moving so quickly because I think January 1st, it was, just it was just foundation. Yep. And now we have a house that's fully framed. We've got electrical we can come going it, in. We and it when it rains. <laughs> big tip. Something that we're definitely doing is we're gonna actually take photos of all the walls with it like this so that when we hang art or if we ever do any renovations, we know exactly where everything is, like all the studs, the all the wiring. We are not about to accidentally cut wires when doing any work, but yeah, we hope y'all enjoyed our house tour. Yeah, come back soon. Come back. <laughs>